All right, who cares about the intro? Let's get right into the show. Hey, what's up, folks? Did an open mic on uh, Sunday, I'm sorry, Thursday, I don't know what day this is, it was a couple of days ago, first one since it's been two months since I did the last one, and it was in Jersey, it was an hour drive, I was going to do a vlog, but I didn't get enough coverage, nice place, it was near a church, and uh, Check Angela came back on in my car, but it's not blinking, but hey, you buy a hoopty, folks, you buy a hoopty, and then I was going to uh, shoot the music video, but it rained the last couple of days, and I've been doing some stuff, not to say nothing important, none of your business, and uh, pretty much, uh, so I didn't get to do the prank calls for you uh, as well, because I had to do those, er I had an idea, I had to do it early, so maybe next week, and uh, as far as live streaming goes, I've been uh, I've been doing that, but uh, Smooth Sanchez, live streamer, has been on this show, arrested and raided by the FBI, might do somewhere between two to five years for a terrorist hoax for something he did months ago. I'm not going to get into a whole long rant. You could read it yourself. But Smooth Sanchez, I know that he's considered a bad person for what he does. We miss you, buddy. We love your content here. You're uh, a brave young man. And I hope to see your content soon. I hope you get out and you're creating content again. Well, there you go, folks. That's all that's up in my little corny little life. Let's get to the public freakouts. We have seven clips to get to. Shots fired in Indianapolis Walmart. Literally, shots fired. You know people say shots fired? Well, this time shots were fired just a couple of days after a mass shooting. Confirmed no one was shot. There it is. It's only 13 uh, seconds. Let's boost the volume up here. So it shows a bunch of people just ducking, covering. And I got to tell you guys, I know who this is. There's a live streamer out there named Burger Planet, who I've been talking about. He lives in Indianapolis, and he's been snapping on streams lately. I put two and two together, and that's what I got. So Burger Planet, cut it out, okay? You're a bad person. Okay, Robin somewhat didn't go as planned. This next video is all for you whiteies out there, especially on the base side. This white guy is going to get robbed in broad daylight by two joggers, and it didn't go the way they wanted to. Let's see what happened. So there's no audio. White guy's walking towards his truck. It's in broad daylight. A uh, jogger runs up to him with a gun. I mean, he runs up to him. His friend's right behind him. Slower. White guy's like, what's going on? He's backing up. They're backing up towards him to kind of give him a look like, yeah, what you gonna do now, motherfucker? And the white guy, he must be watching YouTube videos. He dismantles the gun from the kid. And he fucking... He hits him in the stomach. He picks him up for a German suplex like Brock Lesnar, Suplex City, and slams the fucker right on his neck and head. Now, you gotta be careful because if he kills him, it'll be another peaceful protest. It will say, racist white man kills black kid for no reason for trying to hug a white man. Slams him on the head. The gun goes flying. He puts his knee on the back of his neck like George Floyd. Hey, be careful there, white guy. And the other and the other guy's just like, let's go. Hey, let him go. He didn't do anything wrong. And then he pushes them, and he runs away. So this is why a lot of blacks have been attacking Chinese people. A lot of whiteies are crazy out there, and uh, I think they know that. Uh, this next one's kind of weird. Uh, nude dude, I'm sorry, naked dude, freaks the fuck out, slaps officer. This is, uh, let's see what happened here. Get this plan here. So it shows uh, just people walking. I don't know what's going on here. I guess, oh yeah, the guy's gonna come out of a bus. I guess he's being detained. He's naked on one of those big trains. And it's like a surfer looking dude. White dude. So the cops get out. He starts spraying them with something. It's like a hose or something? Oh, it's not a, it's not a surfer. It's a black man. Showing his BBC, everybody. Showing it off. Oh, he smacked the shit out of that white guy. Is this Eric Andre? No, no, Eric Andre likes to be in the nude. But he smacked the fuck on the white guy. The white guy's holding his head like, you motherfucking poop. And they tase him right in his dick. Stay down! Double taser in his dick. Well, that escalated pretty quickly. 
This next one is a uh, white kid being uh, attacked by a black kid. Don't know the context, but the white kid is screaming out why. So he must have been randomly attacked. Someone's just filming it. And uh, he wants to know why. So let's let him know why. Ten seconds. Here it is. So he's not defending himself. He could probably easily beat this guy up. Instead, he wants to reason with him and say, no, what are you doing? And he's being, he's against the wall. This kid's got a mask on, so at least he's not spreading the COVID, I guess. And he grabs the kid by the head. Ooh, but he doesn't slam on his head. He slams him on his ass, and the kid's yelling out, why? And he punches him in the head. Why? Because you want to live in Biden's America. That's why. And by the way, that's going to happen a lot more, by the way. So, you can ask why all you want. You got your answer. Remember, this is what you voted for. Okay? So, uh, this next one it says, don't know if they post so well. It's a fender bender. Um, everyone's wearing the same clothes. They work for the same company. Everyone's wearing orange. But it's a jogger couple. Uh, they get hit by... Uh, well, let's play it. 59 seconds. It's a hit and run, folks. Okay, so... A white guy hits a black uh, couple's car. He rear-ends them, which is not what they wanted. And uh, so far, the black guy kind of pie-faces them. And then he gets in the white guy's face, and the white guy, he just gives him a little push, a little push back, and I think his, his other friend is in the car with him. And then the black guy's going to get pissed that he pushed him, even though he pushed him first. But he was upset someone hit his car, so I kind of get it. So the black guy says, don't touch me, and pushes him really hard, almost knocks him over. And now he's yelling, get the fuck out of my face. Well, you keep walking up to him. Get out of his face. Now, once again, the white guy hit his car, so he's in the wrong. But this is not how you handle it. Here's how you handle it. You take pictures of the damage. You you get the guy's insurance. And you call. And you fucking uh, get the damages. Now, if that doesn't work and decides to leave, then you call the police. But if you're going to, you know, start this whole fight, you know. So the white guy pushes him again. just gives him a little shove. So that's going to get in his car with his friend. It's kind of funny how she's screaming that someone hit their car. Someone recently hit my dad's car of that same kind of uh, resemblance. And yet they didn't want to pay. It's kind of funny how she wants justice, but it was the other way around. Would she pay? I don't know. But he's get, the other, his friend's getting in his car now and they're just going to back up. They're just going to back up and they're just going to drive away. They don't want any trouble. But the guy's front of his car doesn't look that banged up, so I'm sure it's just some bumps. But once again, you take pictures and you call the cops. So I'm not saying the white guy's right for doing that. But uh, he's in the wrong for hitting his car. But it's all about sometimes how you handle things, folks. Uh, this next one is Porch Pirate Gets Caught. Porch Pirate is someone who takes it up the butt on a porch. No. Uh, this jogger is going to get his ass kicked by another jogger. So he goes on someone's porch. He's got some white bag. He's going to put it over the package like he's some sort of magician. And he's going to think he's thinking he's walking away. But he doesn't get away with it. So he's walking up the steps. This is in broad daylight. Puts a big bag, trash bag, over the box. Scoops it up. He's got his headphones on, sunglasses. He's, running, he's casually going down the stairs. He's walking around the corner. He's thinking, whatever I got, maybe I got something good. And uh-oh, guy comes out of his house, a big black guy, grabs this black guy by the neck like a bitch. He's bringing him up the stairs, gonna make him put the package back. The guy's like, oh, I'm sorry, man, I didn't know what I was doing. And ooh, before he even puts it down, Suge Knight gives him a writer right in the face. And he falls down the stairs, and he hits him again and again. And the guy's crying. Oh, oh, oh. He's wailing on him. That's about six or seven hits. Now, I think this is kind of uncalled for. I mean, once again, I can understand hitting him maybe two or three times. But at the same time, the lesson must be taught to not steal from your fellow jogger. So he is roughing this kid up, and this guy's crying. And he is punching him and punching him. And he will not let go. He's got it by the neck. And now a woman's going to come over and say, all right, that's enough. And he's like, this motherfucker stole my package, bitch. And the guy's gonna run through the gate, and he's like, I had enough, I'm sorry, and he runs away. And now the woman's gonna be oh, actually, I think that's his, uh, his wife, I think. Or his, his, his woman. 
Listen, I mean, I, I'm totally glad what he did. I'm just saying that I, I want to say I think it's uncalled for, but you know. And his last clip is Andrew Yang. He's being interviewed by a uh, future of this country and Obama, and he asks him. Lawrence asking Andrew Yang the important question in New York City: Can a man keep his Tim's on during sex? And let's see what the Yang, the Yang who likes the bang. Let's see what he says. Can a man keep his Tim's on? Can a man keep his Tim's on? Yeah, yeah. Why he's fucking bitches. Can a man keep his Tim's on? Oh my. So Andrew Yang is like, I don't want to answer this question, but I got to get the black vote in there. So here's what he says. I mean, I really oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in disbelief. Think, think... He's going to put his arm around the guy like, hey, you're my homie. It's purely up to your partner, right? I mean, if your partner is cool with it. That's what I'm saying. I love Andrew Yang. He, yeah, he, yeah. He, he choked bitches over oh, here. He choked bitches <laughs> over here. Now he asks him, do you choke bitches? And Andrew Yang's laughing, which is obviously yes. <laughs> And I was like, okay, that's enough. Andrew Yang for mayor of New York. That's how you handle it. You just go along with whatever people say. Well, folks, we're going to get to the odd news. We're going to wrap this episode up. Who's listening to this crap? A few people. I don't know. Can't say the show's going to get better. But that's it. So stick around for the odd news. All right, it's time to wrap this up with some odd news. Trying to do a prank calls for you next week. Some more live streaming. Not sure when. But check out the channel for more updates. Now, uh, let's get to the odd news. Uh, College Station's man kidnapped and prank ends his arrest. The man allegedly wrote, I need help. I got kidnapped on a receipt local restaurant. And the restaurant staff called the police. So people are doing anything for clout these days, and it works. Um, I refuse to do anything for clout because I won't go anywhere in life. uh, Regardless, uh, folks. There's a man out there who tried to fight a grizzly bear in Banff National Park. He only got fined four thousand dollars. Why? You shouldn't have find anything. If you're brave enough to fight a grizzly bear, do it. Seven Eleven is trying to compete with Wawa. They've been losing for quite some time. They're trying to open a drive through for Slurpees and Tacos. Tacos at Seven Eleven? I'm not going to lie to you. When I used to eat the uh, the, the hot dogs with Seven Eleven when I was a kid, I thought they were good. I'm not going to lie to you. A Chinese woman goes viral after hitting boss with a mop after harassment. So he kept saying sucky sucky long time and it, they, they have clips of the video. She goes right in the office and she clocks him right in the head. And he's like, oh, my head hurts so bad. Ooh. All right. Now, this is a wacky story that I like. Man burglarized a woman's home, stowed her sex toys, police say. So this guy just wanted her butt plugs. Oh, man. Imagine calling that 911 call. What did he take? Uh, Just my butt plugs, my vibrator, my dildo. Just, you know, my toys. <laughs> you know, the porn star's got that goofy, uncomfortable laugh. <laughs> you listen to Howard Stern in those shows. Women tried to use $1 million bill at a dollar store. Wait, they have a $1 million bill? Imagine trying to cash that thing. And you thought hundreds were um, a pain in the ass. This is in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. City bus was stolen when passed out passenger wakes up and drives off with it. This guy fell asleep. I guess in his dream, he thought it'd be cool to pull a Kramer and uh, yell at the N-word. Get that? Get it? That whole... All right. Here's another wacky story that you might like. Man accidentally shoots himself shoots, shoots himself while trying on pants in Walmart dressing room. So he bought his gun. He was trying on pants and... Oh, I shot my dick. I guarantee he's going to sue Walmart and probably win. Walmart has a no trying on pants with gun policy, though. They'll probably win the case. So a lot of people have been using custom caskets to add final farewells. They've been putting bumper stickers on there, uh, whoopee cushions. Let's see. One of them is shaped like a Hershey bar. One of them is shaped like a piano, a boat, a Lego set. i got to be honest. That's pretty fucking cool. A hot dog. What would you guys like to be buried in? What kind of casket? All right. Well, folks, that's it for the show. Another awful, mediocre episode. I always try to think how I can make this show better. Well, obviously, it's me. <laughs> I'm the problem. But thanks for watching. I'll see you folks on the next one. You just listened to, and we're out of here.